Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and here on this channel we talk about writing, journaling, and productivity to help you curate a life that you love. So I actually tried to film this video a while ago and I accidentally deleted all of the footage. So um, here we are, round two. <laughs> so for today's video I wanted to talk about morning journaling. Now, on my channel, if you've been here before or even if you're new, I spend a lot of time talking about how to get into journaling, uh, journaling ideas, and ways to make journaling a habit in your life to help you find clarity or to resolve your inner conflicts. And so I thought it would be fun to start a different series, kind of, that focuses specifically on times of the day for journaling. Now that sounds strange, but if you've seen my lunar journaling video, this is kind of similar to that and I would like to go into more depth either with the lunar phases or the seasons or even just morning, evening, night, that kind of stuff when it comes to journaling. So this will be part one, I hope, of a little series. But for today, we're going to be talking about morning journaling. Now this particular topic actually comes from a blog post that I wrote recently. I put it up on my blog and I do have a bunch of journaling content on there. If you ever use any of the links in my description, a lot of them do go to my blog or to journal prompts on my blog so that way you guys can get into journaling in that way. But I also have a blog post that we're going to be following today, which is morning journaling. So. Before we get into everything, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more journaling content like this. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so the first journaling exercise that I wanted to talk about when it comes to morning journaling is the grounding exercise. Now grounding exercises are simply meditations that you could do when you journal to help really ground yourself in the present moment. I think one of the most beneficial things you can do in the morning is to really ground yourself, escape that dream landscape that you were currently in, and focus more on reality and the present moment. A lot of times it can be easy to get caught up not only in our dreams but also in the day-to-day -day routines, what we have to do. Our minds become more fuzzled and confused and it's a bit easier to find that clarity if you do a grounding exercise. The way I go about grounding exercises with journaling is simply I sit down somewhere and I perform a small meditation. I close my eyes, I take a few deep breaths, and I really focus on my senses, whether that's like things I hear, things I see or smell, and I try really hard to be more present. I try to take notice of my current surroundings and really focus on where I am. I use this sensory sort of exercise to kind of gain clarity and to find my center before I begin journaling. Now if you want some prompts that I end up using for these grounding exercises, I will list them here. What, if anything, is currently weighing on my mind? What did I dream of last night and what do I think it means? What do I notice about my immediate surroundings? And how do I feel right now? These particular questions help you to really focus on the present moment and help you focus on where you are and really ground yourself for the beginning of the day. So the next thing that I do when it comes to morning journaling is make a plan. Plans are something that I'm like obsessed with. I love to-do lists. I love making a plan of action for my day. And one of the reasons I really like doing it in my journal or just in the mornings is because it helps me to better prepare for the day ahead. It can be so easy to have all these ideas swirling around in your head and just to forget about them or to become overwhelmed, but if you write them down, it can be a lot easier. Now, you can do this in a journal, in a notebook, or a planner, um, but I do recommend that you physically write it down. Of course, you could do it on like your phone notes app or some other digital planner, but I think that writing your to-do list down, typically by hand, is a bit more memorable and intentional than other methods. Not to say that you can't do other methods. You by all means can. I just tend to prefer writing it. So here is my step-by-step -step guide for doing this. Write down everything that you need to do for the day. Then pick your top three priorities and write them at the top of the list. List the rest of your items, but know that it's okay if you don't complete all of them. And if you have any important meetings or deadlines, be sure to jot those down as well. 
And that's something that I tend to do in my journal, and I will follow it up with journal prompts, as in like, how do these top three priorities push me towards my goals? Or how do I feel about the projects ahead? Do I have apprehension or am I scared? And stuff like that. I do have a bunch of journal prompts uh, that you can find in the link down below that cover several different areas of life, but I'm pretty sure I have one about anxiety and I tend to feel a lot of anxiety over my to-do list. So if you wanna check those prompts out to help you with these kinds of things and with your daily list making, I highly encourage it. So another thing that is really good to do in the mornings is to write down your affirmations. Affirmations are things that we tell ourselves to help us either manifest something or to find more gratitude or more peace. I tend to think of affirmations specifically as ways to manifest what you want, who you want to be, and just different things in your life. I write affirmations in a way that's very future focused, but you can write them about the present. You could write a small affirmation that says, I am happy and healthy and well. And it's just a nice little thing to say, even if you are not necessarily happy, healthy and well at the moment, you may be in the future. It's one of those things that is, it helps to trick your mind into feeling as if you're already there and sometimes helps you to manifest the things that you want um, without feeling overwhelmed or like these goals are impossible to achieve. To give you a few more examples of affirmations, I will put some up on the screen. I am happy and healthy. I can achieve my dreams. I am a divine soul in a loving universe. Wealth flows easily to me. I am surrounded by loving friends and family. And yes, there are more than just those. My blog post does go into more depth about it, but running down manifestations about things that you are or things that you desire are super beneficial for your mental well-being. And one of the reasons I really love affirmations and journaling is just because there are times where I don't feel confident. So I could write down, I am filled of confidence and I believe in myself. And other affirmations like that, which help me to feel more at peace with myself, who I am and where I am going in life. Even when I lack direction or when I lack the emotional fulfillment that I often desire. Another thing that you can do in the morning, which kind of bounces off of affirmations, is to do gratitude journaling. Gratitude journaling is something that is really helpful when you want to be reminded of the things that you are thankful for. And it's something that is really great in the mornings, especially if you tend to start off your day with a lot of negativity. By gra gratitude journaling, you tend to invite positivity into your life, which is a really good way to start the day. So one thing that you can do when it comes to gratitude journaling is write down all of the things that you're thankful for in the current moment. This is another way to kind of ground yourself as well if we think back to our grounding exercise, but it's also a way to reaffirm things, <laughs> affirmations, that we may be doubtful about or that we may be struggling with. To give you a few examples of gratitude prompts that I particularly enjoy, I will list them now. I am grateful for my pet, who I love to play with. I am grateful for a cozy home with a room to myself. I am grateful for my friends and my family who support and love me. And I am grateful for a full fridge with lots of delicious fruits and veggies. These are very simple gratitude things, but there are tons that you can do, several that you can think of. Other ones that I might include now would be, I am grateful to be in a job that I love. I am grateful for the ability to film these videos. I am grateful for the new clothing that I just bought myself that makes me feel so much more connected to who I am and makes me feel confident in my skin. But there are several other things that you can say. Similar to affirmations, they are very dependent upon the person that is making them, so they should reflect you and who you are overall. And perhaps one of my favorite ways of journaling when it comes to morning journal prompts specifically is starting with the big dreams. I am a very goal-focused, very goal-oriented person. I love having big dreams and I love making plans to achieve them. So this is something that really excites me and something that I love to do in the mornings to remind myself what I value and what I want to do. When you think of your big dreams, think of aspirations like the career field you want to be in, or maybe you want to get married someday, have your own home, have a bunch of pets, 
or maybe you want to start a little homestead or you want to live in a big city. I mean, everybody has a different dream. And again, it's very personal to you. One of my big dreams is to be able to traditionally publish some books and to see them on the shelves at Barnes & Noble or something similar. Everybody has some sort of dream, whether big or small, and I like to start with some of my biggest dreams to help feel more grounded and centered to who I am as a person. So to help you find some journal prompts for this, I'm going to list a few. What are my top three goals for this year? Or for the next three years? What are three things I can do today to work towards those goals? What is my plan to reach X goal? Where do I want to be professionally in one year? Where do I want to be in love or friendship in one year? And there are several other questions. Again, I have a lot of journal prompts if you guys are interested that cover very specific big dream and big goal oriented questions. And I could do an entire like video dedicated specifically to big goals and you know journal prompts that urge you towards achieving those things but doing it in the mornings can be a great way to really evaluate how you want to get one step closer to your goals each and every day and it helps you to really remind yourself what you are striving for all right, well, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I do plan on making some new videos in this series, perhaps for evening or afternoon journaling, just different times of day to really change up how you go about journaling. And then you can also decide what works best for you. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And until next time, I will...